What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Love After Lockup. This is season two, episode 28, The Mother of All Surprises. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to your Auntie channel now. Quit playing. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. I also want to remind you guys to shop Andrea's clothing. Use Auntie code, um... <laughs> Coupon code Auntie Mo 15 and you will get 15% off of your purchase. Also, background music you hear, run it up, run it up. That is my Kimfo Cole Beasy. Go to SoundCloud right now, support. You know what I'm saying? You support your auntie, support my family too. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Um, it's Friday night. Auntie is on her fourth glass of Moscato. I'm off this weekend. I got the house to myself right now. I don't know how to act. Only reason why I got a bra on right now is because I'm recording a video. I'm feeling beautiful right now. I'm a little sweaty, a little dewy, a little misty right now. You know what I'm saying? But it look a little sexy on the camera. I ain't gonna lie. But this episode tonight, it was okay. You know what I'm saying? This had its, you know, points here and there. Anyways, though, all in all, hopefully y'all are ready for the review. Y'all got y'all wine or whatever you sipping on ready. Hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So first up, we got Shane and Lacey. Now, Shane is up in there <laughs> in the hotel working out like a man, man. You remember Lacey gave his ass blue balls the night before. So he uh, he got to work out all this tension. He done got built up in him for the last four years plus a day from her ass teasing him, right? Now, he's already falling for this this girl. He's calling her his angel that fell from heaven, how he feels so lucky to have her, and how he just, he sees his future when he sees her. Now, Lacey does say the fact that he didn't try to push up on her after she told him that she wants to wait, she wants to get to know him some more. She appreciates that, and so because of that, that's sort of, uh, y'all forgive me. This Moscato got your auntie. Moscato got me hot oh. Mm-hmm. Y'all already know. Um, but she says that makes her like like him a lot more. And you know, but she got to get this shit figured out. Cause John finna bring his ass home in two weeks. So what you gonna do when he bring his ass home? Now the whole time she there with Shane, John been texting her ass. How the hell is he able to text in jail? That, you know, that just clicked in my head right now. He texting her talking about why you not picking up the phone. You not answering none of my calls. Like, what? Or maybe he left a voicemail and it was like one of those voice text type thing. I don't know. But she was reading the damn text that he sent talking about why you not answering the phone. I'm trying to call you. I'm like, damn, what kind of federal penitentiary you in? You can use the dog on phone. You can text him. But hey, shit, I watched the whole season of Orange is the New Black and I believe anything is damn possible. But... She ends up going um, to lunch the next day um, with her and Shane, end up meeting up with her best friend. Now her best friend is like kind of leery of the whole thing. She's like, I don't know what she doing this for, knowing that John is crazy as hell. Now while they're, you know, sitting down eating, Shane gets up and goes to the bathroom and she even tells like, she's like, girl, what are you doing? Cause you know, John ass is crazy. So what you gonna do when John comes home? Lacey's like, I don't know, but you know, I know I gotta figure it out, but I know I'm not gonna tell him in private. I know I have to tell him in a public place what I'm doing and what's going on. Now, bitch, look at here. If you got to tell this mofo in a public place what's going on, you know his ass crazy. Don't play with crazy fools like that. And then on top of that, BFF ass shame, what you locked up for, this fool said malicious wounding. Now, one of y'all told me in my comments last week the same thing. He's locked up for malicious wounding. Exactly. What the hell is that? What are you, a tie motherfucker up and paper cut their ass to death? Like, what is malicious wounding? That sounds like some real medieval type shit. I'm just saying. I need to look that up. If y'all know what malicious wounding, please let me know. I'm a little scared for her. You know what I'm saying? John crazy. You can't tell his ass nothing in private. This fool Shane locks up for malicious wounding. Your homegirl know John is crazy. Baby, that can't end well for you at all. But she says she got a little bit of time to figure it out. Hopefully you figure that shit out soon. Because girl, John gonna kill you. Or uh, Shane gonna paper cut your ass to death. So uh, bitch, either way it go, you better be ready. Next up, y'all, we have Lizzie and Daniel. They're on their way to go have dinner with um, Lizzie's mom. She's gonna meet Daniel for the first time and Daniel's mom as well for the first time, right? Now, Lizzie's a little 
You know what I'm saying? She's a little nervous because she don't like Mama Daniel. Mama Daniel don't like her. She, of course, is worried that her mom might say something to Mama Daniel because, you know, um, Lizzie and her mom thick as thieves. You know, they best friends. So, of course, Mama gonna jump off if she got to. But Mama ain't gonna have to jump off. You know what I'm saying? Because Mama, Mama Lizzie look like she know how to handle herself. It's Mama Daniel that seem like she gonna be the one that be all up, up in the mix, right? So she asked, um, Mama Daniel asked Mama Lizzie, so what do you think about their relationship? Mama Lizzie, like, look here, you know, I know that they're grown and I, you know, I think that they can work it out. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? If they, you know, basically they get their shit together, hopefully they can work it out. She's like, what do you think about their relationship? Of course, Mama Daniel being petty, I mean, not petty, she's just being real smart ass, like, oh, yay. I think it's perfect. I think it's going to be great. Bitch, ain't nobody asked you to do all of that. You ain't have to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, Lizzie gonna say her little smart remarks that she says, like, up. Oh, you see how she hesitated? Up. Oh, you see how she made that face? Of course, Mama Daniel, the reason why she's worried, of course, because we already know that a week after they met, he ended up getting arrested when her apartment got raided, hence why he was locked up for four years. So Mama Daniel also knows that Lizzie drinks a lot. So she worried that maybe her drinking is going to affect Daniel's freedom in some kind of way. Now, mind you, when they get to the restaurant, this fool ordered a drink. It looked like a Mai Tai. It's probably like that big. Chai, he already said, oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Whew, that's a lot. I'm feeling it. Boy, we ain't gonna talk about how many of these I done had. <laughs> and this is an edited video, okay? Cha bye. But anyways, like I said, mama just worried that Lizzie and her drinking is gonna get caught up with Daniel in some kind of way and affect his freedom. So she just gotta watch out for that. But other than that, like I say, y'all they boring. And I know Lizzie got a secret. We have yet to hear what the secret is that Lizzie got. I think she probably done been messed around with probably a couple of his homeboys. Maybe she been out there. I don't know. She been doing something. But uh, with we the what's this the, oh, in real time this is like season 3 episode like 5 4 something like that we already this many episodes in and we don't know what the secret is yet child I don't want to see her no more till I find out what the hell the secret is after I hear what the secret is then I hear from Lizzie until then don't bring her back on my screen next up y'all we got Vincent and Amber <laughs> <laughs> she played this motherfucker. Let me tell you. All right, y'all, look. So they at the furniture store. He done spent $750 on a brand new bed for this girl, right? Mind you, he trying to do anything he can so he can get on up in there and see what's popping. They supposed to be married. You know, they supposed to be a couple. They been together for 22 months. What's good? You know what I'm saying? So... They at the furniture store. She, you know, testing the beds out or whatever. He tried to come get up close to her. And she's like, child thought I seen some. Child didn't have too much goddamn wine. That's too much of the girl. Like I was saying, she testing the bed out, seeing how I feel. Whoop -de whoop He tried to come lay up next to her. And he was like, yeah, this will be the first time of many of us, you know, laying in the bed together. Trying to, like, hint to her. She made a note of, uh, well, you know, uh, uh, my mama, uh, 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 my mama, uh, my mama in law said that uh you you uh you can't spend the night over there just so that you know trying to make it be known too bruh ain't finna be no nooky snooky up in here it ain't going down i just asked you to buy me the bed i ain't asked you to pay for the time in the bed you know what i'm saying now we do learn a little bit more tea about amber she says that she met a guy before when she was in prison online she got out they got married a year later. They weren't together anymore. So that's why she's a little bit skeptical about Vincent, aside from the fact that he's completely different from what he put on when she was locked up. So they're on their way driving to her mother-in-law's house to drop off her new bed. Now, he brings it up. He's like, look here, um, why are things so awkward between us? You know what I'm saying? Basically asking her, like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? When I'm going to get up in that thing, you know what I'm saying? He's basically saying he's getting annoyed. Like, she's not affectionate with him. She doesn't, like, try to, you know, be affectionate with him whatsoever. She sort of disregards him. And so he just basically, like, what's up? Like, this ain't how you were. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to get closer? Are we going to get together? Watch. She's just, like, letting him know, like, look here. I told you before, it's going to be hard for me. I'm fresh out of prison. This is new to me. I told you, Vincent, she ain't got room on her plate for hot dogs she only got room for tacos right now you know what i'm saying i'm just saying 
Just saying. So they get to Poppy, um, Poppy. They get to Puppy's mama's house, drop off the uh, bed. So um, sh Vincent asks Puppy's mama to take a picture of them, like kind of laying on the bed or whatever, right? So after Puppy mama take the picture, Amber like, um, well, just to let you know, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stay here tonight. I really just need to clear my mind and just kind of have some space to myself. Now you can see this man was crushed. He was heartbroken. I felt so bad for him. Because you can see he really does love her and he really does try. But like he said, he's never been in a serious relationship before. So he doesn't know, like, the romantic things to do. He's awkward with it. So this is going to be his first time really trying to reach out and do something. And, you know, try to be in a real relationship. But she really ain't feeling him like that. Vincent, you might as well go ahead and charge that up to the game. She done got a whole bed out of you. And you ain't, y'all giving these men blue balls left and right. They gonna end up on the first goddamn 48. Stop playing with these men like that. You have them thinking one thing when they locked up. You get out and then you wanna pull a list? Amber, Lacey, these bitches gonna come up missing. Y'all better watch out. So we got Cheryl and Josh, y'all. You know they fresh up out the mountains goosing. <laughs> he fresh from the PO office and all of that. They're on their way to go meet up with his mama so they can talk, have a little lunch, whoop de whoop. So they get there. Now remember, Mama Josh don't like Cheryl. Cheryl don't like Mama Josh. Y'all, these mother-daughter relationships is a damn trip this season. They a trip. They get to the restaurant. They sitting down. Mama Josh walk in. She don't say shit to Cheryl. Cheryl don't say shit to her. She, of course, hugs her son. Happy to see him. So she sit down at the table. Mama Cheryl like, okay, so what's up? What's good? What's going on? He's like, okay, well, you already know I'm going to be paroled to your house. And so the plan is Cheryl is going to come stay with me. She'll come and stay in the room with me. Mama Cheryl like, uh, I mean, Mama Josh like, I don't know about all that. Like, uh, what, what she talking about? And she's like, okay, so what about your kids? She says, well, my kids are with my parents. You know, they're going to be there until me and Josh, hopefully, we get our own space and we can get out. We can be on our own. Mom, like, okay, so what happened if that don't work out? Basically letting her know, like, bitch, you got a time limit if I do allow you to come to my house anyway. Sure, get pissed, and she gets up, and she walks out. Now, we learned the reason why Mama Josh don't like Mama Cheryl Somehow or another, I don't know if Cheryl was staying with Mama Josh some kind of way. Either way you go, Mama Josh's boyfriend, somehow or another, I guess Mama Josh said he can't have no more beer. Cheryl went out and bought some beer anyway and gave it to him. So from that instance there, Mama Josh felt like Cheryl messed around with her man because she done went and bought him some beer. Bitch, I told you he can't have no beer. You done went out and bought him some bush after I told you he can't have no bush or no schlitz malt liquor. You just gonna go behind my back and do some old crazy shit like that. So she mad. Mama Josh thinking all, and from then, she done slept with my man. She bought his ass some beer. Heppa got me messed up. So sure, I get mad. She get up. She go walk out. She get in the car. She crying. Josh got to go out there, console her, because she just out there whining, acting a fool. Later on, they leave from the restaurant. He goes, because he got to go see the P.O., whoever. He got to go get his little ankle bracelet, put on his, you know, his ankle monitor. I call it an ankle, ankle bracelet. That's what we call it here down south. He goes, get his little ankle bracelet. Later on, she has to drop him off at his mama house. She drops him up the street from the house. Because she don't want to see where his mama lives. She don't want to see the house. She don't want to see his mom. She don't want to see none of that. So she dropped the fool off up the street. Now, if I was him, I'd be like, damn, bitch, you mad at her, not me. Don't be dropping me off the street. No way. I got to go. What the hell? But then again, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how the dynamics is with that relationship. That damn whole, that's going to be a fiasco with <laughs> them. That shit right there is going to be a hot ass mess, child. I, I'm interested to see if they going to last. Because, baby, Cheryl ain't budging. She don't like Mama Josh. Josh is trying to get her to at least... Mama might change her mind. Just come and say hi. Like, tell her she look pretty. Something. She's like, nope, I ain't telling her nothing. I don't care. She can kiss my ass. It's funny, y'all. I want to see what's going to happen, though. Y'all, it's messed up. Later on, she get back to the hotel. She call her sister and tell her sister, like, look here. I just had to drop Josh off at his mama's house. His mama don't like me, and I don't like his mama, and I got this hotel because I thought once he got out of jail, he was going to be able to stay with me, but I had to drop him back off at the house, and I can't go over to the house because I don't like his mama. Sister bust out laughing. She like, I told you he wasn't in the first place. Like, damn, what you want me to say? Sure, start crying. But I mean, sis, like, hey, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? 
I mean, shit, it is what it is. That's messed up, though. She ain't have to laugh in that damn girl face like that. <laughs> she rolled. Y'all, we TV. When is we gonna see Goldie? Like, where's Goldie? When is we gonna see Goldie, y'all? So he supposed to be getting out of jail tomorrow, bitch. <laughs> Andrea up in that pack of her bag because she ready to get that D, bitch. Once again, she started talking about all his money, his car, his gold, his jewelry, all of this. How she can't wait for him to get out. She can't wait for him to get out and spoil her and do what he do. So Goldie end up calling. He say he in a bad mood. He got something to tell her. She like, well, what is it, Goldie? What is it, Daddy? He tells her he ain't getting out tomorrow. He found out on Friday that his ass ain't getting out tomorrow. My question was, what the hell day of the week was it now? If you found out on Friday that your ass wasn't getting out of prison, but he didn't say nothing to her about it. Now, you done talked to her after that many times, and you ain't said a damn thing to her, y'all. She mad. I was pissed for her. I was like, go, D. We been waiting on your... <laughs> we been waiting on you, bro. We been waiting on you. See, y'all, go, D ain't getting out. We don't know when he getting out, cause she mad, she pissed off, she crying, she threw the phone. We ain't found out nothing. We don't know why he getting out. We don't know if the boys over on D Block don't told on him. What? Goldie, I'm waiting on you too, Goldie. All right, y'all, we got Angela and Tony. So Angela, her sister, and her homegirl, Brenda, they all out dress shopping for um, Angela's wedding dress, right? Now, she has not seen Tony since he went to the halfway house. Now, while she's looking at a dress, she tried on some dresses and she looked beautiful. Had a cute figure, everything. She looked beautiful in her dresses. So, Tony ends up calling, tells her he's um, basically on the run. He didn't go back to the halfway house. He gives her some lame-ass excuse about how a friend picked him up from work. They went to play basketball. He lost track of time. He got an email on his phone saying that he needed to return back. He got scared and panicked and went, went to the hotel room, so now he's at a hotel now. He on the run. Bitch, what? Now, Angela says the reason why he's locked up is for drugs, so she's thinking that whatever he's on the run for... Is drug related. Of course, the homegirl Brenda, like, look here, I done told you leave that fool alone because I was out here scamming on the fucking ass rich ass thing when I was locked up too. I'm telling you, that's what he's doing. He's using you. Now, Angela is pissed. She like, what the hell is it that you want from me? You want money? What you think I'm finna bail you out? Like, where are you? How can you just basically tell me you on the run right now? Like, nigga, is you serious? He don't want to tell her where he at. He said he don't know what to do, but what he do know is that he ain't going back to prison. Where they do that at? This man is on the run because he don't want to go back to goddamn prison, y'all. While she's at the damn bridal shop looking for a doggone wedding dress, this fool call her, tell her that he is on the run. I felt so bad for Angela, y'all. So bad for her. Luckily, I'm glad that at that moment she had somebody there to console her. But I know it was embarrassing for her because she was in the wedding shop looking, I mean a bridal shop looking for a dress. And then her fiance calls and says he's on the run. Y'all, that was messed up. And that was in the episode right there. Y'all, I'm fresh out of wine too. Fresh out of wine. Um, if there was anything in this review that I missed, please comment down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.